Hello, this video will be about two Mesolithic hunter-gatherers from Ukraine. So this first one, they're both male, but this first one had haplogroup R1a. Let's get into it. This is his phenotype prediction with my Nashakot tool. Now, uh, the prediction gave him blonde hair, which is um, maybe not so much not so much accurate because only a couple of SNPs were found. Only 10 coloring related SNPs were found for both hair and eyes. So this is not a very precise prediction, but this is it. This is the prediction. With my hair ID tool, he's predicted to have straight hair, although this may not be a very valid result because only three SNPs were used in the calculation. According to his genotype at this SNP in the MET gene, he had an increased risk of autism. He also had two rare, uh, relatively rare uh, genotypes for reduced risk of male pattern baldness and better intracranial volume. He had the highest odds of photic sneeze reflex, which I actually have. Um, it's, an, it's an interesting genotype. I didn't know there was a genotype for this. There was like a genetic variation responsible for that. Uh, basically, photic sneeze reflex is that uh, when you shine a lot of light into your eyes or you look at the sun, like directly at the sun, you're going to sneeze. Uh, Zanudas in the comments has asked me uh, whether or not these samples, whether or not these people had uh, derived EDAR, East Asian EDAR. And I can tell you that uh, although the main variation was not in the file, I looked up some other variations that have to do with like ethnicity and uh, this person did not have East Asian EDAR. Like in this gene, in this uh, variation, he had TT, which is super, super atypical for East Asians. So he probably did not have East Asian EDAR. So, so like no mongoloid phenotype, no epicanthic fold, none of that stuff. He had a pretty average or maybe slightly below average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a very low risk score for Crohn's disease. Uh, he had a very high, very, very high risk score for asthma and a very low risk score for type 1 diabetes. This is his result with Gidrosia K3. As you can see, he had a lot of West Eurasian or like basically Caucasoid drift. Uh, here is his result with Ancient Eurasia K6. What's interesting is he scores 4.5% Sub-Saharan African. But I've noticed that a lot of ancient samples from Europe tend to score Sub-Saharan African. The oracle for this calculator is modeling him as basically a mixture of Eneolithic steppe, which is, I think, what he is. Like, basically Eneolithic steppe is what this guy is, with Western hunter-gatherer. Here is his result with Eurogenes K13. Now, uh, a huge amount of uh, West Eurasian, or like basically, not even West Eurasian, I mean like European, Northern European drift, you will not find any modern person in Northern Europe today who has this kind of a score. Even even the most northern of Finnish people are going to have some West Med and West Asian in their result. Uh, this is his oracle for this calculator now. Nothing surprising, he's closest to Estonians, Finnish, Lithuanians, basically people who have the most northern European genetic drift. And here is his result with MDLPK11. Now it's easy to overlook, but he actually had a little bit of Caucasus-related ancestry. And this Caucasus-related ancestry is represented by the EHG, which is misnamed. It's a misnamed category, but it's really Caucasus stuff. Uh, he gets around one-fifth of this Caucasus-related stuff. Uh, with the oracle for this calculator, he gets modeled as a mixture of Samara hunter-gatherer and, like, I'm assuming these are all just Western hunter-gatherers in Western Europe. Uh, this is his result with PanDNA LK10. As I've said before, a little bit of Caucasus or CHG related admixture. Uh, the VH VHG, WHG on this calculator represents both Western and Eastern hunter gatherers in Europe. Uh, with the Oracle, he's closest to Lithuanians, Estonians, Belarusians. There is no surprise here. Uh, and the distance is actually still pretty high because these ethnicities are much more Southern than this guy. But these are the most Northern of Northern Europeans, basically, that are close to him. And here is his result with PondZNAL K12. Now, I don't know much about this sample, but it's kind of sus to me that he scores a little bit of Anatolian Neolithic. Uh, maybe um, this represents actual like Anatolian Neolithic farmer ancestry. I don't know. Uh, if you have more knowledge, drop it in the comments below. And with the oracle for this calculator, he's closest to Samara hunter-gatherer and Samara in Neolithic. And he can be modeled as a mixture of Samara in Neolithic and like Western hunter Basically, uh, he's got a little bit of Caucasus-related stuff, which is why he's a mixture of Samara in Neolithic instead of Samara HG. Here is his result with Eurogenes K36. Um, I think it's a little bit like stupid. Why is he scoring Central African and Pygmy? I couldn't find any G25 coordinates for this sample, so I made them myself. I simulated them using MDOP uh, K11 results, 
and this is who he is closest to now of course this is a simulation and i don't know if this simulation is much is much good so this probably is very different from his actual uh, like g25 if i were to upload it to illustrative dna out of modern ethnicities here is who he is closest to you see it's latvians uh finnish karelian lithuanians basically all the the most northern of northern europeans uh, let's move on to the second sample Ironically, he is named uh, Saint Pete II, and the first one was named Saint Pete XII. That that confused me. Why is it named Saint Pete? Like it's, it's not from Saint Petersburg, but I guess I don't know. I don't know why they named the sample this way. But uh, this one is different from the first one in that his Y DNA is I two A instead of R one A. And th this is his predicted phenotype with my Nashakot two. Now this prediction was a little bit better. There was like more uh, S and P's found than in the previous file. Still, like maybe maybe like half of the S and P's were found just estimating and he's predicted to have brown eyes and blonde hair with my hair id tool he's predicted to have curly hair somehow but this is not a very reliable result okay because there was only five snps that this result is based on so uh, talk about uh, reliability he had the warrior gene which means that in the val uh, met mutation he had the uh, val val which basically means uh, quicker reuptake of dopamine which means less dopamine in the system which means better stress resilience but it comes at a downside the downside is that uh, there is less like motivation and attention now once again this sample was not genotyped for the major snp that is an edar uh, but of course if somebody asked me to find out if this person had edr i'm gonna find it out so i, I found it out i looked at other alternative snps within this gene and i found this uh, with this, in this variation, he had CC, which is a very typical European genotype and very atypical for East Asians. So once again, he did not have East Asian EDAR, did not have East Asian uh, facial features, most likely. Uh, he had the genotype for reduced risk of male pattern baldness. When it comes to illnesses, he had an average risk score for Crohn's disease, a average risk score for type 2 diabetes. He also had an average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a very low, very, very low risk score for bipolar disorder and an average risk score for asthma. And here is his result with Eurogenes K13. Once again, very um, extremely Northern European. I think if you add up the North Atlantic and the Baltic here, it's going to be 90%. It's, it's, yeah, it's really, it's even a bit more than 90%, I think. But um, no modern person scores like this on this calculator. With uh, Gidrosia K3 calculator, I just noticed he scores a little bit of Sub-Saharan African, which um, don't be surprised by that. I don't think he had any Sub-Saharan ancestry, it's just that ancient samples from Europe tend to have uh, Sub-Saharan in their results. And here is his result with ancient Eurasia K6, and here he scores 7% Natufian. So if you needed proof that this individual and the previous individual had uh, some Caucasus-related ancestry, uh, look at this calculator, look at the results with this calculator, they both score a little bit of Natufian. Uh, with the oracle for this calculator, he's modeled as a mixture of like a Scandinavian hunter-gatherer with some steppe or even Burusho or Turkmen, which once again shows that he had a, a lot of like southern and basically... Uh, Caucasus or BMAC, something like that. And here's his result with MDLPK11. Once again, he's mostly scoring Western and Eastern Hunter Gatherer. However, he's also scoring 17.5% CHG, which is very misleadingly named as EHG on this calculator. According to the oracle for this calculator, he is basically a mixture of Scandinavian Matala with something like Yamne. Uh, so Scandinavian Matala plus, plus basically some step something step uh, he's scoring step because he's got caucasus related ancestry here is his result with punt dna lk10 it's a crazy result because it's 71 percent uh, hunter gatherer and here the vhg is not really vhg is it's both uh, western and eastern but it's 71 percent western and eastern european hunter gatherer which is a crazy result and i'm not even going to show you the oracle you can already imagine what it's going to be closest to like estonians lithuanians latvians you don't need to see the oracle uh, because uh, who else has so much Western Hunter Gatherer in Europe? Here is his result with Pun DNA LK12, and this is a very like kind of deranged result. It's very different from every other result I've seen on GED match. I'm not sure why, but here he's scoring 11.8% Anatolian Neolithic. Uh, I don't know why he's scoring that. Uh, I can't explain that to you guys. However, the oracle for this calculator is actually very different from what you would expect. 
Uh, here he's scoring basically a mixture of Western Hunter Gatherer with Samara in Neolithic, which is basically like Proto Indo European, or B Bichon Western Hunter Gatherer plus Afanasivo or Yamna Samara or Yamna Kalmykia. Uh, basically, he's got a little bit of step admixture, which is surprising. Why is the Oracle so much different from what, I, what you would expect by looking at the calculator results? Uh, here is his result with Eurogenes K36. And I also could not find any G25 coordinates for this sample, so I simulated them using MDLP K11 results. And uh, it is a simulation once again, so it is it is maybe not so good. And the closest modern Europeans to him, according to G25, are Finnish, East, Karelians, Latvians. Uh, nothing surprising whatsoever. Uh, basically, all the most northern of northern Europeans are closest to this individual. Thank you for having watched until the end. You can download both of these samples in 23andMe format from link which is in the description of the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.